Hey guys, um, so we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to just do a short tutorial modeling this volume here that it's missing. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go into the top view. There we go. Um, and we already have some of these lines. Let's get rid of all this stuff that uh, that is actually getting in the way, right? Roofs, all of this. And we're going to just model this in a very simple way. You can go and do the, all this further detail. I'm just going to do the volume, the general volume, because I want to do eventually this element and maybe this stair here. Uh, finishing bits to to be able to start cutting the uh, the project and, and, and do some drawings, right? Um, so we have this line here and I'm gonna go in plan lines and I'm gonna do a straight line from this point that seems that is the plan and I'm gonna do a straight line here let's check that we are actually so you can see that our model seems to be kind of quite clearly de defined already right? and we are gonna just do with a curve as well just to make sure that if there's any variation here right so we have that the outline of this geometry and we know that this volume is actually kind of tapered in this direction right so it's kind of moving outwards it's not completely straight um, but we need to check some of the images uh, so let's go ahead and check what is the condition of that um, volume for instance here we have that in the elevation already so we can see that at the beginning is also kind of tapered and I believe I have a few more images around here yeah somewhere here I have this small detail that it's useful to understand a bit more of this right so y you can see that this wall is also slightly tapered maybe not so much as the other one right so it's something that to take in consideration right you can see that there's a small diagonal inclination here and this whole volume it's and this is the element that we want to just do later so and maybe yeah if we see this image here it's actually very clear um, we have a diagonal here right so let's try to model that that means that we could at this point um, move this vertically and give a oh sorry copy this vertically vertical yes and if we change it in layers to section lines we know that this element needs to be slightly displaced so we could say move and I believe that this line here must be the one that describes such thing right again you can test this stuff and then see what you're getting um, what it would be interesting here is just that we we could try trimming these two let's see what we get let's see if those are intersecting already uh, so we wanted those two to join and then maybe also this volume here maybe we want to just extend it slightly so we could just do a copy of this element up here and we'll see that these two and this one these are, are the ones that we want to deal with so I'm going to isolate them to 
first trim. And then extend. And trim again. So the question is right now is are these volumes touching? Well they're not. So in this case because this this is a curve we can actually move the control point and this should be fine. We can actually delete these two control points so we have something cleaner show everything. So we can go ahead and in our volume 4 loft this one with this one right that's okay that one So you see that we have created this volume. Um, and obviously, you will probably check the details, the way of the axis and all this stuff, but I just want to be able to kind of rough out the geometry in which uh, we could start understanding how the building is actually working. Now that we have the roofs in another layer, we could actually see the inside here and start understanding the building slightly better. right? So this volume is cut, it, this is an outline uh, in the facade, so we, we would not have to do that window element. We could actually do that in this one as we have done a, such a short tutorial, uh, and we would still need to just detail this top. But I would like to check first uh, in the images, like what is the condition of that top. So here we can see, and it would be good to just have more images to have a, so there's something going on outside and there's a window element and then maybe this might be slightly different inside so it's a treatment because it, it actually it's a walkable surface so so we will have to do that disting distinction right so let's go ahead and just draw that window element now that we actually have the um, so I'm going to go into section lines again and here show wireframe and we can see what is the line that we want to do it's just this cut here and then this one right so this one is perhaps this the easy one like a straight line here and then another line there right and then this one will be a curve so I'm going to just I'm pressing Alt not to snap to anything again because I want to just these lines as projection lines, and I'm following pretty much the the lines on the other facade, right? It seems they're pretty similar. Um, and in this case, we will reach here and then just a straight line. So very similar to what we have been doing before. You, if you want, you can just use a copy of this line. to have these elements completely um, parallel, right? So I want this line and this line to be joined, right? And I want these two that are already joined. So let's pick the lines that we're going to be using to split the surface and the surface, and I'm going to isolate that. Again, it's not that we need to, but it's just to make sure that what we're doing it's clear, right? Um, and maybe let's let's check the image one more time. It seems to me that there is a um, slight gap here, so we could actually do it slightly different, right? We could do 
an extract wireframe of these lines and only leave this one by pressing Ctrl on it and deleting everything else so we have a copy of this line and I'm gonna offset this line I could have just offset the surf and the, the edge but that's fine and I'm gonna offset it the distance we have usually been working with like 0 0.24 um, so now I can trim right and I'm gonna select these elements to The problem now is that this looks pretty good, right? When we could try to join them, but if we would try to join them, we will see that these lines are not sitting in the right, in the same plane, right? So let's move this line here, and let's hope that this is actually in the same plane. Uh, it seems that it's not, so we could actually go ahead and delete some of these control points so we end up with a straight line and I'm just gonna move it to make sure that it's in in the in the same position right so these elements I can join them now and we could see that we have a continuous line and this continuous line just goes through the uh, through this geometry what I'm gonna do is just make a copy of this surface so again by pressing Control C and Control V, and just in case, because it's quite an important surface, I'm going to just put it in the extras layer just as a backup, right? Now we're going to trim, a split basically, this object with this curve, and that worked fine. We can turn on the Windows layer and add this to the Windows layer, right? Um, so we can see that this is the access to the building this is the volume uh, and this is the window it has some detail that we've seen how to deal with and how to model that but I'm not, I'm not gonna add that detail in these videos but at least we're kind of just getting much more uh, of the interior and the volumes that constitute this surface. This surface here in the inside is quite interesting as well, maybe we'll do that in some point, because it has all these kind of uh, small details. Um, basically if you look at the image and this image, right? And you could think, well, that would be easy to just do with an like all this kind of detail here, you can do it with a with a texture map, right? But this thing is is actually easy to do with a texture map. This is would also be easy, but I think it gives a little bit of extra kind of detail to the drawing and uh, to the model if you would just let's say split this surface and this surface, you would change it for something that has a profile and you kind of do a sweep of that. So those kind of details really help, especially when you're kind of afterwards like rendering or like a dr line drawing and you have some of these kind of extra extra detail in the drawing really helps out um, yeah but for now I think that this is actually working so we're having something much closer to the actual building here so we can turn off some of these curves Right. Um, yeah, and as I said, uh, I'm gonna try to just finish some of these details as we've done before, not to repeat so much, and then we'll be in a position to start doing some sections of the uh, of the building. Yep. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys soon.